like you ever felt. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Right, in the name of Allah, the name and the merciful, I bear witness that there is but one God, whose proper name is Allah. I bear witness that that one, who had all the power in his hand, did in fact visit America. And then he raised up an hour amidst the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, as the scripture teaches you that, behold, I will send you Elijah. Mm -hmm. It didn't say Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. It said, behold, I will send you who? Elijah. Elijah. It didn't say George Bush. It no. said, behold, I will send you who? Elijah. Elijah. Yes, sir. The prophet. That's right. And it said that he would turn the hearts of the children to their fathers. And the hearts, and that's who we should be looking for if we haven't seen him. But if we have seen him, we should keep our eye on him and his representative, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Yes, sir. And so we are here today because of the foundation that the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad uh, laid for us. And we are here today because a man had been prepared to stand up in this day and time who had the courage to deliver the truth. And who had the love to feel the pain of delivering the truth to the people who needed that truth. I'm speaking of none other than the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. I'd like to greet everybody once again in the green words of peace of our summer lake. sir. Now, we had, um, of course, we talked about what was going to happen today at the mosque last night as well as this morning. So everything that we're doing is planned to get everybody in here to think, right? Yes, sir. Not to think about whether Drew Brees is going to throw a touchdown pass, but to think about your and my people and their condition out there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. right? And to think about your spiritual and mental condition in here. Right, right. And what we are not going to try to do, but what we are going to do to improve. Right. All right? Yes, sir. What we're going to be talking about is the nation of Islam. That's right. And what is the nation of Islam? And what is March number 65? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All, right. All right? Yes, sir. I think that's a good stuff. Yes, Make sir. Very good. And so everything was designed to bring us to this point so we can deal with these issues. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Now this is what we need. And I I, I like uh, the brothers to indulge me. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said that this is absolute what? He said this is the, the nation of Islam is what? Absolute what? Military. Yes, sir. That's right. Did y'all hear him say it? Yes, yes, sir. He says it's what? Absolute what? Military. Military. That means that we you're gonna hear some instructions. And you're going to carry those instructions out, right? That's yes, right. Sir. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So all we need is one person on post who knows how to check and watch the door. That's all we need. Yes, sir. And we need everybody inside so we can deal with Mox number 65 and the issues of who? Mox number 65 and the nation of Islam. What is the nation of Islam? The nation of Islam, you could say, is... The original nation of the earth. It's all black people. That's right. All black people are members of the nation of Islam, right? That's right. Because we are naturally, we are Muslims or righteous people by nature. So everybody out there is a Muslim and they don't even know they're Muslim. Yes, That's right. right. They're saying I'm Methodist. They're saying I'm Baptist. They're saying I'm Catholic. It's only because they do not know who they are. Right or wrong? That's, That's right. right. But you and I know who they are, hopefully. Oh, yeah. And hopefully we know who we are. Yes, sir. So it's our job to shine that light on our people. Oh, yeah. So that our people will be what? Raised up. Mm -hmm. Our people a lot of times like, like plants. They need light. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And you and I need light. Oh, yeah. Okay? You have to, in order for you to live, you have to constantly eat. You don't have to eat every day. Because you're supposed to fast three days out of the month, right? Yes, That's sir. right. But 
You and I have to, on a regular basis, we have to eat, we have to breathe, we have to take in water in order to maintain our life. But you and I don't believe that you can watch Monday Night Football when you're supposed to be at FOI class and think that you're going to continue to enjoy your life as a Muslim. You are literally taking your own self out by eating what? The wrong food. That's right. Now we are taught that all of the planets have life on them and that seven of the planets have civilization on them. Yes, sir. The most honorable Elijah Muhammad told us years ago that there are people on Mars. Hmm. Come on. He said those people live an average of 1,200 Earth years that we live, they live an average. And we are supposed to live a thousand years, but we are eating the wrong food. Mm -hmm. right, sir, right. He said that we, if we go over there, we can only go over there in a contraption. That's what he said. And we have to be insulated from the atmosphere of Mars, or that atmosphere will kill us. Right. He says if you drink a little bit of the water on Mars, it will kill you. Because you are what? An Asiatic or earthly black man. Therefore, if you take in that over there, it's going to kill you. That's right. If you take in the water and the food of another world, other than the world that you're in. That's right? That's right. So what we're trying to do, believers, is we are trying to build a new world. The nation of Islam is the beginning of the kingdom of God. That's right. Right? That's right. So everything has trouble in its beginning. Come on. Right. Even if it's the kingdom of God, it has trouble Come in its on. beginning. Right. And nobody that I know of, I don't care how coordinated the baby was, nobody, when they tried to walk the first time, all of you failed. Right. I failed too. Right? Yes, I'm told that Demoiselle had unusual motor skills, mm -hmm. and then maybe the third time she tried, she was able to walk. Come on. Gabrielle, maybe the third or fourth time. She had very good, but she fell the first time. Yes, sir. Right. I was there. She slipped. She fell. You didn't make it the first time. <laughs> but she learned to walk pretty quickly, right? right. But all of us fall that first time. Hmm. In other words, there's what? Trouble in the beginning. Right. Some of you are delaying your beginning. The later you start walking, the later it will be that you will learn how to run and eventually fly because right. you and I are messing up our own right. development. Right. You have your own development. Right? You and I sometimes do that by the decisions that we make, by, the, yes, by what we decide to listen to yes, and what sir. we decide to do. Yes, sir. What we decide to be around. Hmm. When you come into the nation, your place of residence, when somebody walks in your house, they should know you're a Muslim before they come in there. Yes, right. sir. It should be a different world. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, yes sir. sir. One of the things that the children that grew up in my house would say, I feel like I'm living in two worlds. Hmm. That was their complaint because it was, it was totally different outside of the house than it was on the inside of the house. Right. And that, that, that caused the conflict with it. Hmm. But you know what? All praise is due to a lie. At least they knew it was different on one side of the door than it is on the other side of the door. All praise is right. due to a lie. Right. That they had that difficulty. Yeah. Because for some of us, it ain't even a difficulty because it's the same on one side as it is on the other side because we have let that world come into our minds right. and we have let that world come into ours. Yes, right. sir. Right. Right? Yes, sir. And it's the same in the world as it is in the house, which means our house has become part of what? The world. Yes, sir. All right? Mm -hmm. Now, remember what the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad said. If you go to Mars and eat any other vegetation, it will what? Kill you. It will kill you. Yes, sir. Well, we're trying to build a new world, the kingdom of God, right? Right. Yes, sir. If you go out there and, and eat of the food, the spiritual food of that old world, it's going to kill you in your development in the new world that is coming in now. That's yes, right. Sir. Right? Yes, sir. I'm, just, I'm just putting it out there. Yes, sir. You can, the final call newspaper is what you should be reading. 
Yes. Right. If you're a Muslim, that's the first thing you read. That's yes, right. Sir. And everything you look at, you look at it through the eyes of the teaching of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, you got to suck in the mind of God that is being offered to you and I right here in Mosque number 65. Yes, right. But you playing games with the teaching. Right. Right. Therefore, you cannot manifest the teaching yes, because sir. you're playing games with it yes, and sir. you're bucking out on the yes, Alamo Lewis Park. Pray that plan. He's fucking out on him. He's giving his life and you just dropping a little dime in the bucket when he got his whole life on the line. Right. Some of these doggone stupid excuses that we hear. That we deal when we are trying to save the life of the greatest people that have ever lived with the greatest truth that has ever been delivered. That's what we're in the business of doing. We're saving our lives and the lives of our people. Right. All right? Yes, sir. That's what you got to be thinking about. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, none of us have arrived. No. Mm. They call me a student captain, but guess what? I haven't arrived. Mm. I may be uh, over somebody within the structure of the nation of Islam, but that doesn't mean that I'm higher than you with Allah. Come Did on. you know that? Do you know I know that? Come <laughs> on. You may be under somebody in a structure that you are, you are higher with Allah, over that person in a law site. Who knows, right? right? But I gotta know who I'm dealing with when I deal with men. I gotta know I'm looking at a God. But on. then what we gotta do is challenge you to manifest the God that we told you was in you when you came in the door. Come you on. cannot call yourself a God and then sit on your butt and do nothing in the cause of God right. and still walk around with the saying, I'm a God. Right. No, if right. you're not doing anything with it, you're the same nigga that you was when you came in here. Right? right? right. right. You gotta do something with it. Let me play, brother. Let me Sister, Sister Deborah, we a lot of times say, we, we can call her sometimes Sister Do Too Much. Because <laughs> she does go hard. Right, right. But keep it keep in mind, one thing that can be said is that, that she desires. That's right. One thing that can be said about Brother Rashid is that he desires uh -huh. to do something within Islam. Yeah. To do something within Islam. Right, right. Not just to say I'm a Muslim, but to put that Islam in action. That's right. Right. You follow me? Yes, sir. That means that you gotta you gotta go out. How you gonna be a lifeguard? Train to, to jump in the water and save people, and you just sit there. You know, you know they, they put you on that big stand right. so you can right. see if somebody's in trouble, and you sitting there watching your people drown, yes. knowing you can save them with ease, right. and you right. just letting them drown, and then you call yourself a lifeguard. Right. Right. You ain't guarding nothing, no right. sir. Right. right? That's right. You punking out. You get you you trying to get paid for doing nothing. That's right. And some of us want to be right. saved. But we don't want to do anything to help save somebody else. That's right. Right? right? Yes, sir. And most honorable Elijah Muhammad said this. Do not say that you will give your life for anything that you will not give your time to. Mm. Right. All right? Now, some of us pay our savings. They give all that's good. But what the hell is a measly thousand dollars to a man okay. that has survived a minimum since I've been in the nation of four uh, assassination attempts on his life. Mm. Right. Come on. What the heck is that to help him to help me mm. right. and to help our people? Yep. Right? Yes, right? Somebody said, well, Minister Farrakhan got a nice car. Lil Wayne got a nice car. Yes, right. Right. Is Lil Wayne delivering the, the, the message of God that's raising our people up? No. no. Can Lil Wayne call a million men and they come no. for a righteous cause? No, with no weed in the atmosphere? No, sir. Hell no. No, sir. He's a talented brother, but that ain't gonna happen. No. Right? That's right. So Farrakhan is special. Right. Straight up. Yeah. What's so special about him? Farrakhan, let me say this, is special. Yes, sir. He's special because of the love that he has for our people that's and right. the spirit of redemption that's in him. That's right. Right? That's right. All of us come here with problems. Yeah. Right. Some of us used to deal dope. Mm -hmm. Some of us used to be drunks. Yes. Some of us used to be dope ass. Yes. Some of us used to be our uh, armed robbers. It don't matter. Right, right, no. right. We come to God as we are, but we don't stay as we are. A lot of don't care two cents for what we used to be. Right, Good right. He's Good focused point. on what we are to become, which is a reflection of himself. That's right. 
You understand me? Yes, sir. Allah yes. desires to make us better than even the prophets were. That's, that's right. right. But I'm going to tell you, that's going to take some pain. Think about yes, sir. it. Some, some of us go to the gym. Mm -hmm. I just started, I started going. Mm -hmm. Recently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay? Yes, sir. But when you get up under that weight, it hurts. Huh. Right. There is some pain. That's right. My blood pressure fell down. Mm -hmm. My vitals got better. Mm -hmm. right. But I had to have some pain in order to get that improved. Right. That improvement is going to extend the years of my life. But I had to what? Feel some pain. Right. When you and I came into the world, it was hurting us and our mothers were in pain. Right. Our heads were matching up against a pelvic bone and she, through that pain, was pushing us out into the light of death. Right. So we were in pain and the woman was in pain. Right? right? That's right. right. Everybody was hurt. Oh, yeah. But human life was being made on that day, right? That's, right. that's, that's what, what, what you call your, your birthday or your birth anniversary, right? right? That day that you came into the world. Well, that was a day of pain. Yes, sir. It was a day of joy, uh -huh. but it was also what? A day of pain. A day of some doggone pain. That's right. Now, some of us want the joy. We don't want no pain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't want no pain. But no pain, no gain today, man. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right? But a believer's no pain, no gain. No gain. That's no right. right. I'm not going to tell you to touch your neighbor because the minister say he don't want us doing that. Touch your neighbor and say, no, I ain't going to do that. We ain't rolling like that. Right. Right. But the bottom line of it is, you are, you already understand this, that, that, that we're going to have some pain. Yes, and if you don't believe that pain is absolutely necessary, you just look at the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Hmm. Yes, sir. The Honorable Louis, have you ever been in love with a woman? Hmm. As a man. Yes, sir. Have you ever loved a woman, man? Hey. When you love a woman, and that woman does not return your love. Isn't that some pain? Oh, yeah. What if that woman rejects you yeah. after you give her some flowers and she said, I, I'd rather something else? Right, right. Huh? Come on. That's the pain that the minister feels all the time. Yes, sir. He's in love with a people that are with another man. Right, right. Cheating on him with another man called the devil. Come right. on. Right. And hanging out with the devil that don't love. Right. And here he is loving you, giving you flowers, giving you candy, giving you everything he can give you. And right. you are saying, well, you know, I think the white man's ice is cold. That's the pain that the minister has been enduring for over 60 years. Yes, He's been sir. enduring that kind of pain. Yes, so what right do we have to pump out on the honorable yes. minister Lewis? Right. 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 In this day and time. Sisters, we have to be willing to feel some pain. That's right. That's right. So we can see our people free. Come on. Right, sir. Now, I remember when we were, Brother Rashid, uh, we were in a labor meeting. And I didn't think it was time. I thought it was a little too early. And we were at, at the meeting. I'm just telling you some of the stuff that goes on in a labor meeting. I didn't think it was time, but as a loyal captain, I'm rolling with I'm rolling with Donald Lewis Farrakhan representative. He said this was time. We gonna roll with it, right? right. But in my mind, I said, man, we we doing this a little too early. He said, no, we're gonna go, we're gonna go for my staff. We're gonna go for our charter. We're gonna get our charter. It's been too long. We've waited for too long. And boom, he hit the he hit the table. We do it. I said, yes, sir. So we went for it. Do you know how much pain we had to go through mm -hmm. right. to get the charter to submit everything? To keep everybody focused on the goal of getting mob status. Right. That was some pain. That's right. But when it was announced right. that Mars 55 has been established, oh. I didn't give a damn about the pain. I knew that it was worth it. You know what I mean? That mother feels pain, man. Right. But once that baby get here and put that baby on her breast, she forgot all about the right. That's right. That's right. Every mother would tell you. Right. right. And that's the way we got to be with this work, man. Right. You and I are the backbone of the nation, the FOI. Yes, sir. You can't lift anything if you got back problems. Right, mm -hmm. right. You, you, you pull a muscle in your back, it's rough. not too much lifting going on. Oh, right. But we got a heavy load to lift. Right. You understand me? Yes, sir. We have to go after our people. And the sisters, many of whom I, I see 
when they're away from the mob. And when I see a sister who dresses like she's supposed to dress, right? right. You got to honor that. We are all we got. Right. As believers. We know that God is a man. Right? right? right. And if you're blessed to be in this thing for any length of time, you're going to go from uncertainty to belief and then some things you're going to know right. what it is. Right. Like when I put my stars on that board back there, which is just a token of my appreciation. Right? right? That ain't nothing. Right. Nothing compared to what I'm going to When I put my, I already know that I'm going to get two to ten more thousand for every thousand I put up. That's right. right. I, don't, I, do, I do not believe it. I know that Allah got me. That's right. And you all should know that Allah got you. Yes, That's sir. Right. Therefore, what you should step it up. Yes, That's sir. Right. So what we want everybody to do is think about stepping it up. Right. Not laying down on our blue as far as and coming up with all these doggone excuses. Right. Yes, sir. We all got hurdles we have to go over. Yes. Yes, sir. Matter of fact, there's a whole event in the Olympics called the hurdles, right? Yes, right. Sir. What is it called? The 400 meter hurdles? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And every so often, you run fast and then what? You have to jump over a hurdle. That's right. And when you have hurdles, the hurdles don't finish as fast as the 400 meter dash because the hurdles slow you down a little bit. That's right. But yes, they sir. still finish pretty fast. Right. <laughs> Think about it. So we have to jump over these hurdles. Remember what we're told in the through code. That we are constantly training and conditioning ourselves to meet and overcome all obstacles in our path. Yes, we're not laying down. Right. We're not saying that all oh, man, shh, man I, I ran out of starch on my shirt. Well, I guess I'll just stay home. Is that, is the down blue spark going to say that? No, sir. The Uncle Louis Farrakhan taught me a lesson himself when I went to the Catholic retreat. When the brothers and March number 65 sent me because I didn't have the money at the time to go. I came to the brotherhood and the brotherhood sent me to represent you. With no problem. And I, I did, right. did my best to represent you yes, up there in uh, St. Louis. But a tornado hit St. Louis, sure. tore up St. Louis while we were up there. Hmm. The tornado came on the property where we were at hmm. and tore all the wires down and there was a leaf on one of the captain's SUV, like one little tree leaf that right. was stuck to the hood. That was it. Right, hmm. right. Everything else around us destroyed, we did. Right, right. You understand me? Yes, we are back by Almighty God alone. The minister had given his word that he was going to speak. Come on. He said, I'm going to speak to you. I'm going to address the other wife. Hold on. There are trees blocking the street. Trees blocking everything all the way up. There no power. How are you going to speak? The minister said, we're going to make it happen. Hmm. The other found some generators and put some fuel in the generators and cut the generators off. Come on. Right. People walked in the lighting equipment, walked in the cameras, Walked in the sound equipment, and then brothers took their pickup trucks and hit the trees with their bumpers and pushed the trees to the side and made a pathway for the honorable minister. Yes, All right. And the minister gave one of the most powerful messages that day under those kind of circumstances that I have ever heard in my life. Brother Derek had the DVD at his house of that message, and if you look at it, you're going to know that you're looking at a man possessed by Almighty God alone. Right. Yes, and he, he does not belong to Satan. Not one atom of him right. belongs right. to Satan. He belongs totally to Almighty God alone. And I want to be like that one day. Yes, sir. Don't yes, you? Sir. Yes, sir. So, I wanted to talk to us briefly about a couple of things. We have been given I keep it, now understand this. Brother Rashid has a personal relationship That's right. with Minister Farrakhan. That's right. right. He just he just does. And there are some representatives that have, like around the country, that have never actually met Minister Farrakhan. Mm -hmm. Not only did he meet Minister Farrakhan, but Minister Farrakhan admires him 
for his courage and character. Do y'all know? Yes, yes sir. sir. Are y'all aware of that? Yes, yes sir. sir. Do you believe that Minister Farrakhan has good judgment? Come yes, on. sir. Do you believe? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, he, you, it should be. I don't think he has good judgment. I know his divine judgment. Come on. Because he's guided by Almighty God a lot. Right. And I can tell you right now that he loves. The one phone call that I received from the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan was him asking me about how Rashid was doing. Hmm. Right, right. Now, I cherish that for the, for the rest of my life. Yes, sir. But I have to understand that the one call I got, it was Mr. Farrakhan asking me about his representative, yes, Brother sir. Rashid Muhammad. Yes, yes, sir. Now, some of us will say that we love Brother Rashid. Won't we? Yes, yes sir. sir. I know I love him. I say it. Yes, sir. But we got to do something with that love. Right, right. Now, he and his family are going through a hard trial right now. Yes, sir. Are they not? Yes, right. sir. I'm not going to go into all the particulars, but you know that it is a struggle for him to be right here right oh, now. Oh, you oh, already oh. know that he made a sacrifice just to walk in the building right. with all that he's got going on in the Right or And either you love him or you don't. Either we love each other or we don't. Right. Either we love Allah and his messenger or we don't. It's not, it's not, it's, it's one thing or the other. That's right. So if you love our brother, if you know he's having his issues and he's already laid the foundation, right. does he have to come and do everything for you? Yes, right. right? My mother used to wipe my butt. But guess what? She doesn't wipe it no more. Right. I have taken over that job. Right? <laughs> right? So all of us, eventually when somebody nurtures us, we have to take over that job. Come on. Right. right or wrong. Right. So I'm asking us to do what we said we were going to do. That's right. And that's why Sister Deborah uh, laid out the plate. We all got to do it. Let's stop making excuses. Right. You know, there is no excuse for not being an FOI class if you are an FOI. That's right. right. You understand me? Yes, sir. What excuse is there for not being an FOI class if you, if you are an FOI? Right. If you are in town near a mile, where should you be on Monday night? Wow. At FOI class. Yes, sir. sir. Period. Now, you may go out of town to visit family. I'm not telling you if you if you in the Bahamas with your wife on your anniversary, I'm not telling you not to be there. But I'm saying if you're in Baton Rouge and you're looking at Monday night football, mm. you straight up wrong. That's right. If you're looking at Monday Night Football and you're a registered Muslim in the nation of Islam and you are looking at Monday Night Football, right. wondering what Drew Brees is going to do, That's right. boy, look here. <laughs> Come on now. Right. They, right. Now, I know they said that they wanted to abolish the N-word, but we're going to have to keep that N-word around for a little while longer for some of us, for real. Mm -hmm. Because that's how we roll. Right. Right. You got to be on your den. Yes, sir. You can't do this by yourself. Right. You you cannot become a black man on your own. Right. I'm trying to become a black man. I'm coming up out of my niggerdom. And I want to be myself. I want to be an original black man. One day, yes. I got the right. name Muhammad that I have on my driver's license. But one day, I want to actually be Muhammad. Right. I'm not there today, but I want to be. That's why I'm here today. Right. Striving to be Muhammad one day. I know that don't don't call me that but Muhammad. Yes, that's right. <laughs> but I'm trying to grow into that. Yes. Right, right. You follow what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I may have been be, be called the champ, but I'm trying to win the belt, right? Yes, sir. Right. Right now the white man has the belt. Hmm. He's the education champ. Hmm. That's right. He's the media champ. Right, right. Right? He ain't really the scholar champion because that just goes to show you the work around the Louis Farrakhan right. because the Honorable Louis Farrakhan has called out the scholars. Come on. And the scholars of their world right. have actually forfeited, so we already won that match. Right. Did y'all know we won? Yes, we got the scholarship belt. We lost to the nation of this now because the scholars of this world have already been called out by the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad and now again by Minister Farrakhan, and they have failed to show up. And Brother Rashad can tell you if the other team don't show up, you forfeit the game and the other team gets the devil. Right. Right. Is that how it works? Right. They forfeit. forfeit. Therefore what? Forfeit. We got the devil. Come on. Are you with me? Yes, and if we stay with Minister Farrakhan, we're going to get more belts. Right. More championships. Right. And understand a champion cannot be a champion without 
and a punk. That's, That's right. right. All right? Yes, sir. So when you join the nation of Islam, you ain't joining no club. Come on. This ain't, this ain't no Greek letter fraternity. Right. Huh? Well, you stole huh? this, this ain't that. Right, sir. Right. This is the beginning of the kingdom of God. Yes. That's what it is. I don't give a damn if it's just three of us here. Right. That's the beginning. That's, That's right. right. Well, we are talking to Mr. Farquhar and him and him and Brother Rocky. And we go to Savings Day, there may be 60,000 people there That's who right. all bought a ticket ready to hear the album Blues Park Con. Right. That's what your faith can do. Come on. Right. You understand me? Right. So we got to help. You, you understand? We got to help. Yes, yes, sir. That means to provide assistance. Yes, sir. If you see me get off a truck, and I'm not asking nobody to whine because everybody got to work. I may get off a truck after running that truck, an 18 wheeler, for 12 hours. I will get off of that truck and come to the mosque after not sleeping to check on the sisters. Right. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, right. sir. Look, Allah, the Holy Quran says, my, my, my reward is with Allah. Right. You can't give me my reward. Yes, sir. But you can see your brother lifting one side of the desk and say, you know what, Brother Darrell, I'm a, since you're dragging the desk, let me get on the other side. Let me right. help you. Right. Yes, sir. Let me see if I can make it get there by 10 o'clock. Right. To relieve you so you can go get some sleep. If you call me Brother Daryl, right. right or wrong? Right. What do you call me? Brother Daryl, right? Well, it's yes, We gotta all act like brothers. Yes, right. sir. Don't see me struggling, straining myself, and then you looking back saying, hey, Brother Daryl, man, he really, he really is dedicated. Yes, sir. Really? <laughs> Come, on. Come on now. Right. That's some pumped out stuff. Right, right. Don't tell me you're gonna give your life for this thing and you won't, you won't, you won't hold MGT po. Well, I love Mr. Parker, right. but you won't, you won't, you won't hold posts for the women that he's trying to grow into God. Right, right. Huh? Come on now, you lying. Right. And what you need to do is stop lying <laughs> and start telling the truth. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And you can look in the mirror and say, you know, hey, I confess a lie. I am a nigga. I'm saying <laughs> that's right. I am a nigga that lies. I'm a nigga that but but oh Allah, please bless me to one day be a black man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Look in the mirror, hey, ask Allah to make you into a black man, but I'm doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's, it's a process now. Yes, sir. Right. All right. And anybody who wants to ask me about my trial, I'll tell you. I'm not coming to you as no perfect man, I'm just coming to you as a striving man. That's right. That's it. All right. You already know what you're and I've been here for 22 years, but nothing can compare to that yeah. 60 years. Yeah. <laughs> right. Not with the pain he's been. Hmm. Right. I'm not even gonna say nothing about it. If he's in here, I'm not even gonna mention my 22. Right. Brother Rashid is not gonna mention his nearly 40 hmm. years in the nation of Islam, going through the pain that he's going through to, 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 to sacrifice. Right? Right. right. These floors look good, don't they? Yes, yes. Right. It, it, it was painful to get him in here. These chairs are nice and soft. Huh? Right. We finally got some chairs that are wide enough for an original backside. Come on, the other chairs we had were, were for a graphic backside. <laughs> but these right here are for an original backside. Right. The brother Rashid wanted you to be comfortable when you came in here. So what? He made a sacrifice. Yes, sir. Now you and I have to follow that sacrifice with another sacrifice. Yes, sir. And then after that, there's going to be another one. And guess what? There's always going to be a fundraiser. Yes, sir. Some of y'all say, well, always, you was always got a fun of it. You're damn right. right. Yes, you right. always breathing, ain't you? Right. Because right. a lot tell you, you know, you were breathing just a minute ago. Why right. right. you need more air? Right. No, we need, we need it perpetually right. in order right. for us to stay alive. Right. We need it. Yes, so make sure you, you don't go. Right. So on Saturday, we need to be going after our people. That's right. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to get on a truck. Get off the truck without sleeping and go push. All right. wow. You understand what I'm saying? Wow. I don't expect you to do what I'm doing. Wow. But if I can be in Delmont Village with the Final Call newspaper, passing them out and talking to our people with no sleep, then if you was in bed all night last night, right. you can at least come out with me, right? right. If you call me brother there. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all just need to call me down. <laughs> really? I mean, really, because you got you gotta act like a brother. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. And anybody that has come to me very rarely have I told.
told you no. That's right. Very rare. If I told you no, it was because I didn't have it. Right? Right, sir. I will meet you at a gas pump when you about to run out of gas. Yes, sir. And we won't even tell your wife that you're going through hard times. Right. Because I, I, I want you to be a man in front of your wife. Yeah. I'm not going to say, well, he was broke. He had no money. Right. No, I'm trying to make you a man in front of your wife. Man. Yeah. Right. I'm not trying to emasculate you, man. Because yeah. we all have problems. Right. I didn't even tell uh, my family at the time. They don't, there was a, we need some food. Sister, there was a, we need some food. And I ain't got nothing in here. That's all right, sister. Uh, this was years ago, maybe 10, 11, 12 years ago. I, I, I just left the house. I came back maybe three hours later with the groceries. Oh, what took you so long? I said, well, you know, I got running my mouth or whatever, whatever. I didn't even tell her. But where I was at is in a place where she wouldn't see me selling the final call newspaper. So I could get the money selling back issues so I could get the money then to go to the grocery store. So I was out there for two and a half hours selling the final call newspaper so I could go get milk, oatmeal, eggs, white and fish. You understand? I ain't ashamed. We gotta do what we gotta do, brother. Yes, sir. That's being a man. Yes, sir. Right? So I thank a lot for that experience. Yes, yes. Right? I thank a lot. For the fact that when the minister came to Baton Rouge, mm -hmm. he had the largest crowd yes. on his college tour. Yes. 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 And he came to city where they had 150 brothers Good. from that one city. Good. But they had a thousand less people than we did at Southern yes. University. You understand? Yes. A lot is with us. Yes. It's all about the quality. Yes, sir. Yes, and what sir. you have to decide is whether whether you're going to be a Muslim in name or not even a Muslim in name, if you're going to be a nigga who call himself a Muslim mm -hmm. or you're going to stand up for the honor of Lewis Park. Right? Yes, sir. All of us got sin. Yes. But you better be, but don't be stupid enough to have sin and don't have no works. Right. Huh? Right. That's crazy. If you know you got sin on you, and then you on top of that, you don't do nothing? No. You just straight disrespecting the God, the right. messenger of God. I mean, you just saying, I really don't care. Right? Yes. right? right. And the other thing is we got to have the spirit of redemption with respect to each other. Yes. Yes, sir. You understand? You, yes, sir. What's the, what kind of spirit is that? Hmm. That means, yeah, we got to have a forgiving spirit. Because, see, if I'm Brother Daryl, I'm Brother Daryl even if I pissed you off. Right, right. right. You might even say, even if, I, even if I upset you. Yes, right. Right. right? I'm still, what? Brother Daryl. Yes, sir. My mama gets on my nerves even to this day. But you better not mess with her. <laughs> you understand? Right. They got some of you in here, and some of you, some of you I made known. This brother here gets on my nerves. But make sure y'all don't mess with that brother. Right. Because I love him to death, right? right. <laughs> y'all know that. Right? <laughs> right? Yes. But again, it doesn't matter. If I'm your brother and we family, we family. Right. We're going to go through things, but we don't turn our back on each other. Right. That's right. And how are you going to be a Muslim and turn your back on another Muslim? Right. Right. I ain't talking about a hypocrite. We're supposed right. to turn our back on a hypocrite who's, right. who's fighting to tear things down. Yes, right. We're not supposed to have anything to do with somebody who's negative and always trying to tear down. Right. But, but, but if you know somebody is soldiering like you soldier, is committed like you're committed, is down with the My 65 program like you are, you, you don't have no right to turn your back on that person. Mm. Right. Right. Male or female. Mm. Right? right? Regardless of what you think about me, in my personality, you already know when you come here, you're going to see me, right? Right. <laughs> right or wrong. Yeah, right. Brother, Brother Timothy knows that he's going to have to give me a pink sheet of paper every week. Yes, right. It's going to be pink every week. Yes, sir. Not some weeks. Yeah. Every week. If I got a heartbeat, he's going to have to give me a pink sheet of paper. That's right. Because I'm going to pay my check. That's right. And it, it's interesting that those who got a whole bunch of complaining to do, they can't pull out too many of these. That's right. Those people who whine, That's right. they don't have a lot of these. Do they? 
And this is what you call a charity receipt. Come on now, teacher. They're not giving. That's right. And that's why Allah ain't blessing. That's that's right. Right. If you want to be blessed, you better give to this program. Come on. If you want money in your pocket, you better give to this program. You follow me? Yes, sir. And you better go after your people. That's right. And stop making excuses. Yes, sir. Now, the level of papers that we're at is not even the level of papers that a mom should be at. I'm not worried about somebody in, in Texas, what they think. So I don't want nobody to think this about that. What I'm worried about is what I think. What, what, who is Daryl Muhammad? Who is Derek X? Who is Thomas X? Who is Rashad Ali Muhammad? That's what I'm on. Right? Yes, sir. Now, this, this name, Farah, or Far, means what? That we, one, it means obligatory, and it corresponds with the early morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? That's right. This is the early morning of the seventh day or the seventh thousand years, the day of resurrection. So, as one who we are, one we are, obligated. And there's a class in law school called Obligation. To obey. All right? Yes, sir. That means that this man, we got to do what he said. That's right. Yes, sir. Somebody said, I'm a grown man. Yeah, I'm a, you, yeah, you a grown man, and so you think. <laughs> but if you was a grown man, you wouldn't be buying your car from Ford. I got a Jeep out there. I would, I would rent us the day that we'll be rolling with an Ali 2000. Come on, man. Huh? Think about that. Yes. But we're making our own calls. Yes, but if you bought your wife a car like a man's supposed to do, you bought her a car that the enemy's name on. Mm. Right. Even Mercedes is a white man. That's yeah. right. Right. right or wrong? Right. We're not men yet. The Chinese have their own car. That's right. They even start to make cars in Nigeria. The Nigerian is growing up to be a man. Oh, man. Well, he puts his wife in a car that he made. That's right. But hey, for now, buy your wife a car. <laughs> but understand that we are not grown men yet. Right. Wow, right. We're growing into manhood, and at some point we will be, at yes. Don Blue's Farcom, yes. we will be a man. Yes, sir. Now, the other thing is, I'm going to say this, in our development, you got you got to respect the person in that development. Right. Right? So, in order for you to respect me, sometimes you got to know where I came from in order to be able to respect where I am. Yeah. That's right. So everybody in here came from somewhere. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and it wasn't, it wasn't a good place. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you were in corporate America. I don't care if you were an attorney. I don't care if you were a judge. If you were the nigga judge and you came in here to be a black man. Come on. Being a black man is much better than being a nigga judge in it. That's right. You understand me? That's right. That's what it is. That's being right. a black man. That's right. And that's what I'm trying to be as a black man. Yes, sir. One day, if I ever, if I ever do become a judge, I'm going to be a black judge. That's right. <laughs> I'm not going to be an African American judge. I'm going to be a black judge. And that's totally different from any kind of judge you ever. And whatever we do, we are a different kind. That's if we're right. in the school system, we're a different kind of teacher. That's right. If we're a principal, we're a different kind of principal. That's right. When you come into this and you accept this in GR, you become this. So, so the thing I want you to understand is we're obligated to obey Master Father Muhammad. Master Father Muhammad. Wants us to obey the teaching of the Most Honorable Muhammad, and he wants us to keep our eye on the Muhammad Lewis That's right. Right? That's right. That's what he wants. He wants, he says that every time the doors open, if we ain't at work, what are we supposed to be? At the mouth. Supposed to be at the mouth. And not just in the mouth, we're supposed to be in the streets. That's right. Okay? Yeah. Now, we're in we are in Savings Day season where everybody you, you can order in uniform. The sisters are ordering uniforms, the brothers are ordering uniforms. And when you order that uniform, it's going to have a flag on your shoulder, mm. right? And the shoulder is where you put weight, mm. right? Mm -hmm. So it signifies that we're shouldering the weight of establishing the freedom, justice, and equality that the flag represents. That's right. If, right. We're, not, if we're not going to shoulder the weight and we're going to play games and give Muhammad our leftovers, mm. I guess I'll pass over there. You know what I'm saying? That, I mean, that, that's, how, that's how we talk about study group. Mm. I'll pass over there. Mm. That's right. That's not a black man. No. Mm. When you hear, I will pass over there, you listen to a nigga. Mm. Just feel that. And, and that includes if I say it. Say, hey, remember, Brother John, what you said? <laughs> right? When you say that to yourself, that's the nigga in you talking. You are attending your meeting. You're not passing by. Right? Isn't this supposed to be permanent? 
Yes, sir. Y'all looking at me like I'm a pizza with no teeth. Is this this is this is us, right? Yes, sir. This is us. That's right. We don't have a plan B. No, that's right. That's right. If this Muhammad did, I'm not like, well, if the Muhammad thing doesn't work out, but this thing with Allah and the black Muslim movement, <laughs> that doesn't work out, then I guess I'll go ahead and work for Exxon. No! <laughs> this is it. That's there is no plan B. No plan. Right. When Allah gives you a plan, that is the plan. Yes, sir. Allah has planned for us to be Muslims. He has planned for us to grow into God. That's his plan. You need another plan? No, That's it. Now sometimes when steel sharp and steel, there's gonna be friction. Hmm. Right? Yes, sir. Some of y'all done butted heads with me. And I know I got a hard head. <laughs> Don't I? <laughs> it's like a hard act. <laughs> but guess what? I'm going to be here, and you got to resolve in your mind that you're going to be here, and that whatever issues we got, we're going to work them out in love together because the objective is always to reflect God and to be a God fit. Right? You may not agree with every decision that, 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 that we make, but the Honorable Louis Farrakhan said this is straight military. Yes. So we follow instructions. Yes, That's right. Right? When you see me come in, you should know. When you see Brother Rashid come in, Sister Deborah, Brother Timothy, you should know you got laborers in the city that love black people, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but you know I love you. Yes, sir. And I have never told you no. Not one of you have heard me tell you no when you needed me to be there for you. Right? Go ahead. right? Yes, sir. I mean, really, some, some of y'all had tanks in front of your house. Mm -hmm. hmm. You understand me? Like this, yes, sir. three tanks in front of your house. And you say, Daryl, come on, man, for the captain. I say, I'll be over there a minute. That's right. This, these are the instructions. Turn on every light in your house, put your wife in a garment, and set her in the living room, and I'll be there when I get there. Yes, sir. Boom, get there, talk to the people, use what we learned in the FOI class. Come on, now. And before you know it, all the vehicles rolled away, all of the, the snipers left, got up off the roof and rolled away. Mm, because right. we, we use wisdom that's taught to us by the alchemists. Come on now. God oh, oh, bless by the way. So, we just, we just, and, I, and I went by myself. I went by myself. And through using this, all those tanks and all the personnel characters, you know they were rolling on, on a Muslim couple hard. Mm -hmm. And boom, you just use your thinking That's right. and keep your self respect. And so, what are you doing, brother? This is this is ridiculous. Why you got this man up against this man's door? This is a young married couple, both of whom are professional people, and you're gonna do this? Well, we're just trying to find a suspect. I said, but you already know that this couple is not involved in in, in whatever you're talking about. So what? Well, we need to. I said, but this is what we'll do. And and he and I. With all the other, or with all the other devils, and I say other devils because he was definitely a devil. Mm -hmm. All the other devils were outside, and we walked through, and did a walk through with me and brother watching him, and he looked where he wanted to look, and and, and you out of it because you can't plant that. Mm -hmm. That's right. And at that point, we had given him what he asked for, but we got everything we 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 needed to get, and before you know what, they had no choice but to roll out. That's right. But it's it's using this. And we're taught this in the FOI class. That's right. So why shouldn't you come out on Monday? Come on, man. You understand? Yes. Without, without even a scratch on us, we were able to just move all of the all the tanks left <laughs> mm -hmm. by using this. Yes. Sir. All right. And all of us can do that if we come. So we're obligated to obey him. Okay. Whatever he says, do we got to do? That's right. Making money is what you got to do. Yes, sir. Right. And I will say that most of us in the mosque, the average black man only makes thirty-four thousand dollars a year, right? But most of us in this mosque, with children, you know, with school-age children, we make a lot more than that thirty-four thousand. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. That's a lot of blessing. So how should you return the blessing? If I'm making thirty thousand dollars more than the average black man, twelve thousand dollars more than the average white man. What do I look like coming in here and not, not having charity and not having my final call? Mm -hmm. What do I look like not having that? Mm -hmm. When Allah has blessed me to make more than the average black and the average white man mm -hmm. in, in a white racist society. Right. You think about that. That's a blessing. So what I want us to do is I want us all to step it up. Yes, sir. 
We got a soldier. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? All of us have limited time. But you got a soldier. We all have children that need us and they need our love. Straight up. You know, if you got whether you got daughters or sons, they need the love of their father. Right. They, they need you. You're indispensable to the whole process of development. Mm -hmm. But you still got to spend some time in this. That's right. If you don't want your daughter, if you want your children to grow up in a better world, you got to spend time establishing it. Right. Otherwise, where are they going to go? Do we want another generation? Do, do you think I want my granddaughter dropping McNuggets 10 years from now? Saying, do you want to shake with that? <laughs> it's honest work, but I want something better for it, right? right. I'm not, because I did that. Mm -hmm. I flipped burgers right over there on Florida Boulevard. I was making $3.35 an hour, and then I really, really was balling because I got a raise for $3.50 an hour. <laughs> right. I started from the bottom. That's how we started. You understand me? That's the way I started. Mm -hmm. Now, the bottom line, though, I know it was tight. <laughs> it was tight. But the thing, but the thing about it is, brother, we can do it. Sisters, we can do it. Yes, yes sir. Now, we established what we call a foundation class. Because a lot of us don't have the foundational knowledge of the teaching of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Mm -hmm. I gave out a questionnaire some time ago, and most people didn't know some basic teaching. Right? Right. You gotta, you gotta know the message in order to what deliver the message, That's right? right. Yes, the the message of the Trinity and the pie in the sky after you die and all the scriptures that relate to that, to be absent from the body to be present with the Lord. Do you know those preachers know that? Mm -hmm. They know that falsehood. Right. right. They can make it sound good. Mm -hmm. You and I have to know the truth. That's right. right. So we can make, we can invite our people to the truth. That's right. And we have to do something to live the truth. That we are what? Inviting our people to. That's right. So, paper pushes. And let's get the paper count up. You know, you know that, that what we're doing is not reflective of your faith. Right. Right? There have been times that I had to park at the drugstore. Hmm. Because I got here a little bit before 10, there was no, no parking space That's left. Right. I had to go over there by the CVS. You know I don't mind having that problem? Hmm. <laughs> Right? Mm -hmm. We can have that problem again. That's right. All we got to do is work hard and push. And Brother Rashid was sharing with me last night. We need to push those flyers and invite our people out. Right. Now, maybe one out of ten will come. But that's enough for me. That's mm -hmm. right. Right? Because keep in mind what you're doing. When you mention the Honorable Louis Farrakhan, you are keeping Farrakhan on the people's mind, even if they don't like it. That's right. Mm -hmm. They heard his name. Right. Even if they don't like Islam because they don't really know what it is, they heard the name Islam. Even if they don't like Muslim because they really don't know that they're a Muslim, they still heard the name. So you're mm -hmm. keeping what? The plan of God in front of our people. Right. So that at a certain point when Donald Trump and his ilk start whipping them, they'll know where to go. That's mm -hmm. right. Right? It's going to come a time when we're not going to be able to get in here. If we don't get here two hours early, we ain't going to have a seat. That's right. Because mm -hmm. they're going to be coming in here. Mm -hmm. And all this is designed to purify us mm -hmm. so that when our people come, they'll be taught by a pure heart and a pure mind that loves them. That's right. Bottom line, we're not going to rule harshly. Mm -hmm. We're going to be stern, but it's always for love. Right. You understand me? I know I talk more about love than most Catholics. I know. I, I, I understand. Praise be to God. But I told y'all. 12 years ago or 11 years ago when I took this job at the instruction of Brother Rashid that I was not going to be like those other Catholics. Mm -hmm. I, told, I, I told you, I'm going to be a different kind of brother. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to bark at you because you're a man just like me, right? right? right. But I am going to have to go at times have to be stern and stand the ground, but it, it's not about ego. Right. Because I'm just a nothing that came out of the world just like you. Mm -hmm. And all I did was apply myself to the teaching studied the message, worked on it, and here I am, right? You do the same thing. Because I'm not going to be the captain forever. Right? Yes, sir. I'm not, I mean, we're not about to do 30 years like, like, like they do in the school system. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that brother was the captain for 30 years. He retired mm -hmm. on his captain pension. It don't work like that. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. That means other people have to step up. That's right. The next captain... Might, might, might be walking through the doors next next week. That's we right. don't know, but we got to go out and fish him in. Yes. 
The next assistant minister might be white walking through the doors next week, but we got to go and fish him in. The next sister captain, the next lieutenant, yes. mm -hmm. the next uh, minister of, of defense That's right. might is right out there in, in the street, mm -hmm. drunk and don't know who he is because we have not told him. You know, you're the original people of the earth. Come on. The minister told us to start right there. Do you know who you are? Hmm. I'm Tyrone Jenkins. I'm the baddest nigga in the South. God, no, no, no. That's not really who you are. <laughs> <laughs> you are the original people of the earth. You are the first man from whom all other men have come. You are God. You just need to get in touch with who you are. That's right. See what I'm saying? They've never heard that. They, my mama and grandmama told them that they was black and ugly with nappy hair and do something with that hair. <laughs> Nigga, your lips too big. Right? Mm -hmm. This is the message that we all got growing up in the black community, right? right. And now we're being told that we're God and that, that we are the best and we're beginning to manifest the best. All right? Yes, sir. Yes, but, sir. but you got to be in the program. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In the process. Yeah, right? You got to be in it. Yes, if you say you love me, show me. Mm. If you say you love the Honorable Louis Farrakhan, show me. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, sir. Brother Derek and I were on the security detail when the minister came. I know that that brother who has children would have stood between the minister and a gun if it came to that. Mm -hmm. right. Some people you just know they bout it, bout it, like, like uh, Master Peter said. Yes, sir. <laughs> on the spiritual line. I already know. Mm -hmm. It, it would have been a competition where me and him trying to get there, we would have bumped heads. Because <laughs> both of us would have been trying to get there. To have the glory of defending the message and the message of Almighty God Allah. And if Barack Obama can be defended, and all he did was do a very good job administrating the affairs of white folks, yes. what about the man who was preaching the kingdom of God? That's right. Hmm? They asked me, what's going on with him? Is somebody coming that's important? Is it Barack Obama coming or something? That's what they asked me at work while I was preparing. I said, no, somebody way more important than him. <laughs> and he's important. But nobody on the earth today is more important than the man who made the sacrifice to deliver that message. Mm -hmm. That's right, bro. You understand me? Yes, sir. Nobody is more important than him. That's, that's just what it is. And because I know the importance of black people and, and that through him, Allah is going to get all these people, that's how valuable he is. That's right. Right? right. We're going we're gonna to be a, a sovereign nation. That's a perfect reflection of Almighty God that's Allah. Right, that's, right. that's what's going to happen. You can either get with it or not. All right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, having said that, well, I'm talking to us. Are y'all with me? Yes, sir. I know, I know we got a guest. Yes, sir. But, this, but he, he's, a, he's a black man. That's right. He, he, you, you know you with family, right? Yes, sir. So, it is what it is. This is the beginning of the kingdom of God. That's right. The kingdom of God is compared in the Bible to a mustard seed, mm -hmm. which is the what? The Come smallest on. of all seeds. On, that's, the, that's what the kingdom of God is. It starts very small. Everybody is bigger than we are, but not everybody is, has, has the quality we have. Right. You understand? We got, the, you know, a mustard seed has strong flavor. Mm -hmm. And when you, when everybody see the nation, we got a strong flavor, yes, sir. right? And we change the flavor of everything we involved in. You drop that mustard in there, it's gonna change the flavor. That's mm -hmm. right. That's what we do. All right. Yes, but sir. we will soon be very large. Mm -hmm. The minister said we're gonna have mosques that are so big in the future. All right. But for now, we start small and we grow large. And it's not gonna happen, as Sister Deborah said. But you're trying to be part time. Right? And half but I really want to say something else, but I ain't gonna do it. Because we got me in mixed company, it's not FY play. But but half but with the thing. We have to get out there and, and be seen at going after our people. Alright? Yes, sir. It, it, it's no you don't you don't have a choice. You you everybody in here agrees that Allah is God, right? Yes, sir. Everybody in here agrees that, that black people are Muslim by nature. Do you agree with that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then why aren't you telling your people that? Why aren't we going out and showing our people that this is what we are by nature? Yes, sir. And every time we go out, you already know a lot of blessings. Mm -hmm. Right? We had maybe 12 or 13 brothers. Another city might have had 50, 60 brothers going out on a push 
And and when and when when the thing went down, you could not park by the middle of Okay? Because Allah backs us. <laughs> you understand? He backs us. And you need to understand that. And all you gotta do is get on the law side and let's all do better. Don't just walk past Brother Derek when, he, when, when you come in or Brother Tim. See them, look at them. <laughs> Face the difficulty. Right? It might be tight. You might have to sacrifice a latte, a mocha frappuccino. Hmm? Some days I spend $10 in, in, in Starbucks. I spend 10 What do I look like? Giving them Jews at Starbucks $20 and come here to the mall and ain't got no money for the program I say I, I give my life up? Come on, man. Come on now. Because all of us buy stuff. Mm -hmm. Some of us got to bought another flat screen TV to go with the, the flat screen TV we bought last year on, on Black Friday. <laughs> Which is really nigger fried. Because <laughs> you see how they act when you look on Facebook over the merchandise. That ain't black fried. That's Negro fried. Right. African American fried. <laughs> so, we obligated, brother and sister. Yes, sir. If y'all say y'all love Sister Deborah, y'all say y'all love Brother Rashid, help them yes, to make the kingdom of God. Yes, sir. Don't tell me you love me and you ain't never there for me. Right? Because some of y'all know y'all can call me, y'all can say, man, I'm over here, come get me. And, and, and y'all say it and hang up the phone. Because <laughs> what? You know based upon who you are and who I am that you know I'm on my way, right? Right. Yes, sir. That's the way we all got to be. Mm -hmm. With this program and with this man down with Mr. Lewis Farcom. Yes, sir. He, we got to know that when, when, when you call me or I call you, I know what's going down. Me too. I'm going to deal with one last thing. Some of y'all are weak to the point that you won't, that when you know I'm calling you about duty, you won't even answer your dog on phone. You treat me like a white bill collector. When I'm only trying to call you to the job you say you signed up for. Mm -hmm. And you look at the phone ringing and I already know you see the damn phone. Right. right? Because we got technology now where I can text you and I can see if you read the text. Mm -hmm. right. It'll say delivered. Then I can look back in the function and it'll say read. So I know you saw it. Right. That I'm talking about this final call newspaper, this charity, this attempt. I already know you saw it. Mm -hmm. Then you want to punk out and not answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just you think you, you think your duty and obligation gonna go away? Mm -hmm. How many of you have children that maybe you had out of wedlock? That child is still there. Mm -hmm. That child support you old still here, huh? <laughs> your duty and your obligation ain't going nowhere. Yes, sir. Okay? I'm still paying when my children call me. You understand me? Within an hour, making it happen. Because that's what we do. We don't run from our obligation. I know it's difficult, but you got to face the difficulty to, to bring yourself out of nigger and then to make the sacrifice to get your people out of Mm -hmm. If you ain't willing to do that, you ain't, as the Honorable Lewis Farrakhan said, you ain't working for me. I'm going to let him say it. I'm going to say dawn. <laughs> You're not worth the dawn unless you're willing to put it all on the line. That's right. For this mission and for this call. All right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I apologize that we didn't have Brother Ishmael teaching on Nimrod and all of that. But y'all know that Christmas is paid, right? Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Read the 10th chapter of Jeremiah. It's going to describe a Christmas tree. It's going to tell you that it's the heathen. We already know that it's all about the winter solstice. It's about the sun god. Christmas is pagan. Jesus is real, but Christian is pagan. Christmas is pagan. And I'm going to tell you this. Santa Claus, I, I don't want to disagree with the Jackson 5, but Santa Claus is actually a white man. <laughs> That's right. We're going to give him Santa. Let, you can have Santa Claus. <laughs> Jesus is black. Come on, man. And I believe he's more That's important. Right. All praise that we talk about. Yes, all right. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. All right. So, so, this is the are we, are we going to do that? Yes, yes sir. Yes. Are we going to stand up for the honorable spark? Yes, yes, sir. sir. Are you going to be my brother and not just call yourself brother? Yes, yes sir. sir. That's all I need to know. As long as I know I got some committed men with me, it makes me feel good. Yes, sir. And understand. Brother Darrell, Brother David, by you coming to the meeting, you 
the meeting was better than if you had not been here. That's right. Because I'm saying, but by him being there, he adds to the atmosphere. Yes, so everybody that comes with the right attitude and spirit, yes, you make things better. Right. Don't you want things to be the best it can be? Yes, yes sir. sir. That means you gotta be there. Yeah. Period. Love Point blank. Bottom line. Right? Yes, sir. So, Brother Rashid uh, has a big excuse to be at home. Mm -hmm. I'm not even going to get into this situation. But the fact that he's here, mm -hmm. trying to be an example to everybody else, when he got real issues. That's right. You know, you know how the minister said that the darkness in the beginning wasn't, it was real darkness, it wasn't a shadow? That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, he got real stuff that he dealing with. That's right. But the light of faith is going to shine him through all of that. Right. right. And 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 Brother Rashid, we want I want to let you know myself that I love you. That's right. And I thank a lot for you. That's right. And the sacrifice that you have made. I got little babies that tell me I saw him alive. And and that's priceless. Yes, sir. Because he came to the city and got his mom, mm -hmm. which was the way that I got my mom. Which was the way that my children got their Muhammad and yes, then what? We got grandchildren. Muhammad. Name what? Muhammad. Muhammad. Oh, yes, sir. So don't don't say what you what what your impact can be. Come on. There are people with the name Muhammad who got their Muhammad because he got his Muhammad first that right. may not even know him. Right. Right. But you gotta teach, you gotta teach. If we don't teach it, there's nothing wrong with us giving another black man credit Right. Yes, sir. Right? Right. Some of us, you know, you had you had the, the Uncle Tom preachers. Talking about how great um they were at the White House, talking about how great um President Trump was. Hmm. Oh yeah, I think he's gonna be a great president. Just kissing that man behind. Right. Who, who who's a, who's evil by nature? Right, right. This man is righteous by nature, and not only righteous by nature, he's righteous in deeds. All right? Yes, sir. And that's and, and he it, it's just beautiful. So, brothers, I'ma let y'all know uh what's going on with FOI class, because it is what the enemy calls Christmas Eve. Sometimes we have it, sometimes we don't, depending. I will let you know. But you but you do understand, right? That we must go out with this paper. Right? Yes, sir. And we must get the papers up. Don't get scared when it's some difficulty. Right, right. It's gonna be difficult. Right. We're gonna go out there when it's cold. We're gonna go out there when it's hot, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. right? Yeah. And some of us, we sold dope when it was cold. Right. We sold dope when it was hot, right? right? We ran women when it was cold, huh? That's right. We ran women when it was hot. Huh? That's right. We got drunk when it was cold, right? right. We got drunk when it was hot. Right. Right. Don't come in the nation and think you're gonna do everything you do. The weather got to be perfect. <laughs> right. Right. I got in my stomach. I gotta have just the right amount of food in my stomach. Everything got to be just right. <laughs> right. Come on now. That's crazy. Are you listening? Damn.